Although the event was emotional to some, to many it was also a joyous occasion. In his address, former President Pohamba said the renaming would keep the history of the country's national liberation struggle alive. Comrade Toivo Ya Toivo advocated for the transformation of our Namibian economy and the promotion of popular participation of the Namibian people in the mainstream economy. It is therefore my hope that this vessel will continue to contribute to the achievement of Namibia's development agenda, driven by the values and ideals, as well as aspiration of our fallen heroes and the heroes. Fisheries and Marine Resources Minister Bernard Esau also spoke at the occasion. From a fisheries point of view, we should never forget, and we owe it to the sacrifices of our heroes and heroines, including Andimba Toivo Yatoivo, that today we have a fishing industry owned and largely managed by Namibians themselves. I therefore once again welcome this opportunity to celebrate his life through this renaming of a fishing vessel and and the contributions in terms of leadership to the Tunaco group of companies and indeed the fisheries sector in Namibia. Struggle icon and former Robben Island prisoner served for 12 years as chairman of Tunaco Fisheries. Tunaco is the largest fishing company at Valfes Bay with more than 2,000 workers. Selen Kuvin, NBC News, Valfes Bay.